Hi, I'm Mike Turner, your friendly filmmaker, and today we're talking about image stabilization in the Sony ZV-1. As of late, there's been new cameras coming out about every single week. So this one came out a while back, a few months ago, and people were talking about it, and then it kind of fell off the radar because so many bigger cameras came out. But um, I still think this is a good value camera for people that are creating content, doing educational videos, maybe doing your vlogs. Uh, it's still a pretty decent camera and we're going to go through some of the features. So in this video, we're talking about image stabilization. Stay right there. You're going to want to see this. And before we get started with the video, let's just take a quick look at how you access image stabilization in the Sony ZV-1. First, go to the Mode button and then select Movie Mode. Then, for Movie Mode, you can select your exposure. From there, you just hit the Function button. And from there, you can see at the bottom left, you have the stabilization options. You have Off, you have Standard, and Active, which we're going to take a look at in this video. All right, so here we are. I'm zoomed all the way out using the Sony ZV-1 and I'm walking with the active stabilization on. So there we go with that. Little test, I'm walking on paved ground. Very easy. Okay. All right, so this is a test with the standard in the stabilization. And as I'm walking, I can see that the, um, the eye tracking focus is working. I can see a little box on my eye, so I'm pretty sure I'm in pretty good focus. And uh, just kind of judging by what I see on the screen, it looks kind of rocky compared to the active, but it might still be usable. So here we are testing that. Take a few more steps and then I'm gonna switch it. All right, so here's another test. Right now there is no end stabilization on. I'm just gonna continue walking and see how that does. Looking at the screen, it looks pretty rocky. Looks like I'm still in good focus, I think. And um, right now I'm recording audio through the camera with the little windscreen thing on it, on the top. So we'll see how that does as well. And here we go. 50th of a shutter F7.1. Right now it's on automatic ISO and it's on 400. So right now this is standard. I'm not going to move from this spot so that we can see what the crop does. So this is standard. This is off. And basically there is no crop when you switch from standard or off to standard. It's the same. And now this is active stabilization. And as you can see, it crops in a little bit, but it's not crazy, but it does crop in. Active steady shot, and I'm just squatting and moving the camera slowly. I'm zoomed all the way out. This is standard, and I'm doing the same thing. You can see it's much wider. Here I am zoomed into the max and uh, no image stabilization on. And 
been doing the same thing. This time I'm using active image stabilization and you can see it cropped in quite a bit. One thing about this is the battery life is not very good. Um, right now I have a little power bank plugged in and um, it's a cheap one though. But it's keeping it just keeping it working. It's been plugged in now for about I don't know, 15 minutes. And it's allowing me to get some more shots. So we'll keep it plugged in, we'll keep walking, see what we see. And the music that you're hearing in the video is provided by Soundstripe. I've used Soundstripe for years for all of my weddings, and I do use it for these YouTube videos as well. If you're interested in Soundstripe, there's an affiliate link down below. You can go ahead and check that out, and you will get a discount if you use it. And any equipment that we discuss in these videos is always located down below in the description. Go ahead and click on that for more information. And if you purchase it, I will get a small commission. That will be appreciated greatly. Thank you. And down below are two links to two very short Little stories that I wrote many moons ago. They are ebooks. And if you're into drama and suspense, go ahead and check them out. So there's a look at the Sony ZV1 and the M stabilization. If you found that helpful, go ahead and like the video. Please subscribe for more videos about the ZV1. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at the autofocus. As always, I'm Mike Turner. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you soon.